Friends, welcome to our homestead. I just received this very special package from FedEx. Let me show you what's in it. And it's labeled right here on the outside of the package. And we are adding these to our greenhouse and our garden today. And I'm gonna go through all the steps on how to do that. Let's go. Now I know what you're saying, adding insects to the garden, that's crazy but not if they are beneficial insects, which are going to eat a majority of the other insects, hopefully. And that's gonna be dependent on how many beneficials you have in the garden. First, you wanna create an environment that is good for them. That means just an overall decently healthy garden or an opportunity for them to eat a lot. So the green lacewing larvae that I have here in this package are some of the most voracious eaters out of all the beneficial insects. When you think of aphids in your garden, you think of ladybugs eating them, and they're good, but a green lacewing larva will eat 20 times more aphids than a ladybug will. Green lacewing larva will eat not only the aphids, they will eat thrips and mealybugs and spider mites. They will eat scale insects, other insect eggs, and they will also go after small caterpillars. The adult green lacewing will feed on the honeydew of aphids kind of robbing it from the ants, which is a good thing because as we all know, ants will farm aphids for that honeydew. Then the adult green lacewings will also eat pollen and nectar, and in the process, they are a good pollinator. Now let me show you how to handle these. Once you get them, you want to release them on the day that you get them. That's ideal. For us, we didn't have time yesterday. It was delivered in the, in the middle of the day, but we are releasing them the next morning. You will receive the package overnight mail in a cool dark pouch. If you can't get to it that moment, then please keep them in a cool dark place in your home. Don't worry, they're not getting out, so there's no issue with that. Don't open the package in your home or anywhere else. Wait till you get out in your garden to open it up. Now, I got these from a company called Arbico Organics. They grow a ton of different beneficial insects that you can purchase for your garden. This is a great alternative for spraying and for uh, certainly pesticides. If you wanna keep your garden healthier, I'd recommend doing something like this. When you get your package ready, you're gonna open it up. What we're gonna do is gently tip this around. And that's kind of mixing up the medium if it did settle in shipping. And just gently, don't agitate it, don't shake it. Just gently roll it around and get things kind of mixed up a little bit. I'm gonna put these back in the package for a moment because there's something that you need to do before we add these onto the plants. And that is to give our plants a quick hose down. So what does hosing down our plants do for us? Well, it gives the opportunity for the medium and the eggs in that package to stick to the leaves instead of just kind of fall off. What it does is also raise the relative humidity for the larva. And in this case, with the green lacewing, they like a little bit more humidity and moisture. And what we're gonna do is just sprinkle a little bit on some of the leaves. You wanna spread them around the garden on the different plants that you want to treat. And if your individual plants are not touching one another, put it on each individual plant because the larvae will have a difficult time transferring from plant to plant if they are not touching. Now, a lot of the times we do have problems with white flies on our pepper plants. So I'm going to put some of the green lace wings here. And if you didn't see in our previous video, we put out these sticky traps so that we can look to see what type of insect we are combating on our specific plants. Now I have caught some random things here like these flies and I'm not sure what they are. However, I have caught a bunch of white fly. So it's really good to identify the problem you have before you buy your beneficial insect. And these are great. I'll leave a link to these in the description below the video as well as a link to our Bico. Wetting the leaves down is really important because if I just tried to put these on these small pepper plants, everything would just fall off. If you have a delay in treating your plants and you need to take a break, make sure you put the lacewing larva back in the dark package and that way the sun will not get to it. So my bok choy over here is already done and going to seed, but I do wanna save the seeds and they are here still in the greenhouse. I noticed aphids on them last week when I did the other video on how to control insects. 
So I'm gonna put these on the bok choy as well so those aphids don't spread around. And of course, anywhere that you need to add the beneficials, just give it a quick hose down, like on our broccoli and kohlrabi over here, and sprinkle them on. Well, that's it, friends. I hope that information is helpful for you. And remember, the green lacewing is the best general, all-purpose, beneficial insect for your garden. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me in the comments section below. Now go check out this video right here, which is how we built our original Back to Eden style garden. Have a beautiful blessed day. See you next time. Bye.